Today, we laid to rest Squid's face. He was the squiddiest of faces. And cherished by most. Not all, obviously. I'm not dead. Shut up! Hello everyone, this is the PDP, the Prescribed Dosage Podcast for Prescribed Dosage Entertainment. As always, I am Squidface and joined by... Boulder the Magnificent. Also, I hate you. He is exasperated from doing the last 17 failed intros. <laughs> How about go fuck yourself? That I'm, that I'm sure will now plague the memory card that is in this <laughs> recorder. So everyone should enjoy that when Boulder releases it to me. <laughs> fuck you. Nope, we are the PDP for the PDE. Uh, if you follow our acronyms, you know what those mean. If not, well, too bad. Tough shit. This is our 15th episode for the week of May 18th, I believe, May 17th. We are recording this on the Wednesday, not the Thursday. This time. <sighs> so how's it going, Boulder? I haven't that- seen you in a while. You've been on vacation. Yeah. How's that going? Awesome. Any chance to get away from fucking work is amazing. Yeah. Also, was able to shoot people. Of course. <sighs> for those that do not normally listen, he means airsoft. <laughs> no, I'm just a sociopath. Anyway. How you doing this week? Oh, not bad. Uh, same old, same old. Uh, I will have something to bring up, but I think I bring that up at the end. You think that? It's up to you. Well, people don't listen to the end, so maybe I should bring it up. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, this will be my uh, last ever podcast and probably last ever thing done with PDE. Sad to say. I see him tearing up over there. I just see it welling up behind his eyes. Um, just with me moving. He's no, no, no. He's gonna go live on a farm. Am I? <laughs> will we tell the children? <laughs> no. Uh, I'll be going to school and moving here soon, and it just doesn't practically fit into my schedule anymore. Unfortunately, love to keep doing it, but time frame is an issue i'm sure that we will kidnap you every once in a while and oh, yeah. you can have a five minute segment of you going Ehh! like john stewart <laughs> <laughs> he left uh he left his daily show but now he's he just pops in from now and again into the colbert report or the colbert the late show with colbert i think it's called now stephen colbert regardless uh yes this will be the last one for me sad to say if you only listened for me you might want to just leave now i mean that, there's nothing for you here no i'm just kidding how about go fuck yourself i'm just kidding by the way did you uh have you checked the website yeah yeah did you see the huge fucking spike a few days ago no <laughs> we were steady at like 80 unique views a week mm-hmm. now we're up to like 120 nice Okay, because it's pretty low now. It's at like 60. Whatever! <laughs> Gotta ride that hype train, man. It made me feel good inside. It'll it'll jump every once in a while and make you feel good inside. Yeah, he likes feeling good on the inside. With like uh, 20 extra views a day, you're like, oh my god, the day is so complete. It's fucking something, Jesus! It, it is something, yeah. Yeah, you'll lose that pretty quick. But... Uh, what do you got to talk about this week? Some fascinating news, I'm sure. I got my wisdom teeth pulled. Ouch. Yeah, my mouth still fucking hurts and is still bleeding. For the last, like, three days, I have been tasting nothing but fucking blood. Ugh. I, ha- I ran out of gauze. It sucks. That does suck. Why don't you go buy some? I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke, bitch. <laughs> no. I was I- thinking about... Understandable. Pre- huh? I've never had my wisdom teeth removed, thank God. Really? Yeah. You should have fucking seen mine. No, thanks. Even the dentist said it was deformed. Ew, ew, ew. No. no. <laughs> Usually there's roots or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's like multiple ones. This one uh, had two roots, one really small one that was like that big, and then one fucking massive one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was uh, very disconcerting. Another thing that was really fucking uh, fucked up about it, it was the top on the left side that they pulled. Yeah. Which one... They uh they had to have like pliers or some shit to like uh, wiggle it out, but they used my cheek as the fucking fulcrum. So when they clamped down on the thing, it pinched the shit out of my cheek, and when they're wrenching it out, shredded the fucking side of my cheek. 
You okay. can't see it now, but it was fucking bleeding. Worse than when they see. were pulling. Really? It was bad. Was... Yeah, it, it sucked. Where was that? In the mall? Hmm? No. Uh, uh, by my parents' place. I go in the mall. They did pretty good. They removed my two teeth. I didn't even feel it when I was removing them. But, of course, I felt it after. <laughs> you know, waking up and all the pain medicines wore off. And you're like, oh. <laughs> pain medicine? Yeah. Like they give the numbing agent and the painkillers. You don't get that? Well, I fucking felt it. Well, it sucks to be you. Man. They only gave me the fucking shit they used to drill, the like numbing shit. Well, That's fair, it. Well, to be fair, uh, I didn't have my wisdom teeth, so yours probably hurt a hell of a lot more than mine. <laughs> but. And what they fucking, uh, like I said, I can feel it. Mm-hmm. You know what they said to that? What? Well, it's almost over. That's don't, not what you should fucking tell a pretty don't, patient. Don't tell me when it's almost over. I'll tell you when it's over. I'm the patient. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying before, uh, it was the upper left side. So it's yeah. in my fucking head. Oh, like yeah. my skull. Headaches, so yeah. Oh, yeah. That. And uh, it took a chunk of bone with it. Oof. So literally, I am looking at like, a, it's like, it's still attached to a tooth. I kept a tooth because I'm weird like that. Yeah, but yeah. I was just like, that is a piece of my skull. Why am I looking at a piece of my skull? <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> Usually people are dead when they see their skull. Yeah. It's like, he's beating me to death with my own skull. How is this humanly possible? That's <laughs> what he was screaming. <laughs> Man, that's a good show. Anyway, uh, figured I'd bring up Terry Crews' furniture line. We were discussing it beforehand. He didn't go into detail, but yeah, just tell me, yeah, please. He just has a furniture line. Like, uh, love seat chairs, table. Yeah. Terry Crews. That's awesome. I think he announced it a while ago while he was doing like a, I don't think it was like an Reddit AMA. I think it was just like a little video he had, mm-hmm. but uh, he was doing like the selfie version of his, or vision of his house, right? Like a house 360 kind of thing. And he was like, yeah, it's so cool. I'm going to have some big things coming out. I have a furniture line. I'm like, huh. Cause when I first heard about it, I was like, whatever. But yeah, what yeah the... now it's actually with him. Coming. You can't take him at his word. No. But uh, I still do think he will be Doomfist in Overwatch eventually. But I would buy his furniture line. <laughs> uh, I've seen some pictures. looks pretty cool. I should have saved some to show you. But Yeah, I was going to say, what the shit? Looks cool. It's with uh, Bernhardt Design. I don't know what else they've done, but I'm sure they've... anyone that has a company called Bernhardt Design probably makes some good stuff. Uh, but I just, I just thought the, we would discuss that it's funny that he went into furniture line. As opposed to anything else actors or well, doesn't singers he, do. He has the Old Spice shit. He endorses it, but I don't think he, like... I don't know, has there ever been, like, a... Has he put money into it or anything like that? It's I don't like, think here, so. smell like fucking Terry Crews. Yeah, like, with the furniture line, he's put money into it, I'm assuming. Like I said, I didn't read it that much. <laughs> it's either he's putting a lot of money in and funding it, or Bernhardt is just paying him to put his name on it. Yeah. And I'd like to think he was pretty excited about it, so he probably put money into it. But uh, yeah. that's neither here nor there. But uh, no, it's usually with actors and that you see uh, clothing lines. And we were discussing that earlier. And perfumes. And what other things can you think of? Uh, I guess Dr. Dre has his beats. Stuff like that, right? Don't even get me started on the bullshit. But uh, yeah. I'll... S- Fragrance. Fragrances, yeah. I can't remember who it was, but it was just like, yes, this. Uh, if you ever want like to smell like Britney Spears, here's a bottle of uh, old records and failure. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. I can't remember. That's awesome. It's <sighs> like, it's almost canon for people to... Required. Singers, singers and pop stars. Required for them to get a fragrance line it smell like a slut basically isn't that, isn't that a paris hilton line from south park <laughs> i don't watch south park i don't know oh i'm pretty sure that is uh anyway <laughs> we just thought we'd bring up how weird that is but also mildly interesting so hope you enjoyed that if not tough shit <laughs> if not tough shit keep watching listening <laughs> whatever you could be watching it's on youtube too watch the airwaves uh, recently, I found out that Spruce Grove here in Edmonton <laughs> has a fight club 
figured you figured we could talk about that. Well, you just broke the first rule. Never talk about Fight Club. Well, I'm not in the Fight Club, so I can talk about all I want. Yeah, you'd be destroyed. Exactly. <laughs> Why would I be in a Fight Club? I'd be in a great scurry club. Yeah, you open two rock stars. I was wondering why. How about go fuck yourself? Continue about the Spruce Grove or Fight Club. <laughs> the Spruce Fight Grove Club. Um, uh, a eighth grader came home from school bloodied, beaten with a broken cheek, a broken nose, and deformed eye. And the mother was like, what the fuck happened? And initially the kid said he fell off his longboard. Yeah, he longboards. That's why he got beat up. Anyway. <laughs> oh, harsh, shit. A little too harsh. Uh, no, he said he fell off his longboard. Obviously, she found out that that was not the case. Uh, he was not initiated into a fight club, but he was asked to perform in a fight club. <laughs> and perform, I mean, uh, fight, not club. Get his ass kicked. Yeah. So he fought. Hey, we don't know what the other kid turned out like. You should see the other guy. <laughs> That's what I say in all with all my fights. Um, no, uh, he was he was asked to do a fight, and of course his mom said he has very bad social anxiety, so he just naturally said yes, because that's what you do when you have social anxiety, I guess. I I high pitch scream and run away. That's what I do, even if not a fight. If someone tries to hand me a flyer, just believe me, I understand social anxiety. I had it really fucking bad when I was in high school. Oh yeah. You just you just don't want to associate with people, right? Well, it got so bad where I worked down 32nd Street. So I had to walk from the end to gates mm-hmm. every day for my job. I wouldn't walk along the sidewalk because I didn't like people looking at me. I walked behind the hedge. Yeah. That's how bad my anxiety was. It happens, yeah. Anyway, continue about the fight club, fucker. <laughs> you broke the first No. <laughs> <laughs> um... The Fight Club fucker, the poor guy. The worst Superman ever, or superhero ever. Fight Club fucker. <laughs> Sounds like a date rape drug. drug. <laughs> um, so, mother found out. Mother's urging people. She's saying the kids aren't supposed to talk about it, because obviously you don't talk about Fight Club. It's a, it's a bro fight, I guess. I don't know what that means anymore. I really don't know what a bro fight is. <laughs> You're asking me, fuck. As soon as you get hit in the balls, you gotta stop. It's bro code. Everyone knows that. Pretty girl walks by, you gotta stop. Bro code. I don't know what that means. Uh, you have to have a pop collar? What? <laughs> I don't know what bro fight club is. Regardless, uh, she's urging parents to watch out because their kids aren't talking about it, and they might show up with bruises and fight marks and good old fight marks, you know. Black eyes and such. You know what I mean. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Fight marks. So if you're in the Spruce Grove area... Or around, be wary. Your kid could potentially be doing drugs. No, in a fight club. Both of them are bad. Let's be honest. Or longboarding. That's worse. I know I'm <laughs> going to be an asshole to say this, but mm-hmm. this story, even though how horrible it is, has only made me want to watch Fight Club <laughs> again. I know, right? Really? Fight Club's amazing. And I know. If really? you haven't seen it, you should. And if you're too young enough to know what Fight Club is, don't talk about it. Well, that's what I'm saying. And like these kids are in the eighth grade; they weren't alive, right? Like they how... came out in '95. Like I wasn't old enough to watch it. I know that much. But these kids weren't even thought of at that point. I'm, I'm sure, right? Like that's crazy. They're like, "Oh yeah, Fight Club. Let's start one." I think it's just like a social phenomenon now. And like, I'm sure if you asked a kid that said that exact phrase, you don't talk about Fight Club. What's that from? They probably wouldn't even say Fight Club. They probably wouldn't even know, which is quite fucking sad. Yeah. They'll think it's something like Party Like a Pineapple that just came out of nowhere. People love it. I'm not even going to try. Not even yeah, going to try. Just, just, just Bypassing Party Like a Pineapple. Completely gone. Go. Story. Uh, RuneScape. RuneScape! Uh, they were having a stream for whatever the fuck. I wasn't really too inclined to check out what... RuneScape is dead to me, but mm. I just thought it was entertaining. Well, have you played it? I played it all throughout high school. And I still remember uh, getting the first scimitar. Mm-hmm. Or scimitar. How do you pronounce it? Scimitar. Scimitar. Mm-hmm. It was really weird how there was like an area locked off 
where it was like desert and like oasis and shit on one side and then immediately over this one fence that you can't get through Mm -hmm. it was all lush green yeah yeah you're a little bit older than me so when you were in high school it was probably the same age i was playing it too do you remember when all the uh abilities came out that you couldn't you you couldn't uh level up until you bought the premium shit like fletching and stuff like that stupid shit yeah yeah uh yeah that like entrapping or something like that or hunting i can't remember what it was it was it's so stupid i i remember that pissed me off so much and that was my first foyer into online gaming was runescape which is sad because like i played knock it man yeah uh like i played other games online but the biggest one for me at the time was runescape so much that i actually had to create an email which i never had before just to have a runescape account I wish I could remember what that email is, but they probably deleted my account by now. Yeah. But uh, I got really high levels. I just never in like, never super dedicated to it or bought okay? the premium or anything. Yeah, I'm just, I have a lot of phlegm in my throat for some reason. Sure. Phlegm. Yeah, it's fun. Shut up. <laughs> I knew you were coming along with that. <laughs> no, but uh, I remember my first actual like multiplayer thing mm-hmm. where I got together with friends was on RuneScape. Oh, really? Yeah. We went a- into the wilderness. How did you used to play it? Did you used to just sit at your computer and meet your friends online? Yeah. Talk on, like, Skype or something? No, I didn't talk. Oh, you just type and shit? Huh. Guess that's the way it used to be, huh? In the good old days. Well, me, it, we had basically LAN, but uh, what we did is we went to the little library, like, literally little library. They had five computers lined up. And there's a lot of kids in the town <laughs> that didn't have computers. So it was like, you got to get there when it opened. And I remember getting there and like kids were like pushing each other to get on to the point where they had to introduce one hour periods and kick kids out <laughs> after one hour. And if you're on RuneScape, one hour is not enough time. To do fuck all. To do fuck all. So like you get in with your friends and you're like, we got we to gotta go, we got to go. You get in there, you play for like an hour, and then you get kicked out, and you like literally sit outside the library for like 20 minutes, and you come back in, and you're just like, is it enough time yet? <laughs> but by then already, kids are already on it, and you're like, fuck. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't that bad. Yeah. By the time I was playing RuneScape, I was playing it on my home computer only. Yeah. And I think I played RuneScape for like maybe six months. Yeah. And just... After a while, I just thought it was tedious. Yeah. Like, I was fighting for... Says the guy that plays World of Warcraft. <laughs> I haven't played it in forever. But you played it recently. With what? Well, you played it in the last year. Oh. Not really fucking recent. Anyway. More reason to me. But, uh... Yeah, just fighting over resources. Like, the mining nodes oh, or whatever. Oh, mining is so annoying. I know, because there's like, it's a, how do I explain this? It was... For those who haven't played RuneScape, which is very few of you, listen up. You'd, uh, it's pretty much squares. You move to each square or whatever, and there'd, you'd be in a mine, and there'd be one square that was a specific type of ore, but there'd be four people around it Mm -hmm. for hours. Yep. Just fucking clicking on it, everything they... Every single time. And of course with that comes bots. People that just bought sit there and they mine a, a thing full and then they just naturally path back to a base because it's all squares like you said. Very basic pathing. So you path back to their account, unload it all into their account, click out, walk back. Like how many bots did they shut down in the game, right? Like Jesus. I was actually banned from Elder Scrolls Online for be, uh, being accused of being a bot. Really? I got into the game, uh, I think it was a week early, Mm -hmm. and it's pretty much a a beta, like, oh yeah, you can come in early and get through all the major shit, but it's pretty much, yeah, just make sure they're using you as guinea pigs for the, like, bunch of, or the actual release. Yeah. So kind of a pisser, but every (laughs) time... Kind of a pisser. Every Sorry. single time uh, that there was a glitch or whatever, like a quest or whatever, I'd report it, and then I'd just go off uh, collecting resources. Yeah. And there was this, uh, during the quest line, it was in Windhelm. Uh, how do I explain this? There was, 
I couldn't go further in the story at all. Like, no quests were opening. I had to, like, I wasn't able to hand them this one quest at all. Yeah. So, uh, for three hours, I just went around collecting uh, raw, uh, ore and plants. Okay. Or uh, fibers. Yeah, fibers. But you did that for an extended period of time, for right? Three hours. And I just go up one side of the river, go up to the mountain, come back down. Because they're all the spawns for the ore or whatever are static. Mm-hmm. Like maybe there'd be one here uh, at one time and then another one here at the other time. But then the next time around, there'd be one here and not one here. Mm-hmm. So you just adjust your course, whatever. Yeah. So then I got uh, permaband. And I was like, what? And I just fucking flipped on them. And they said, well, you were accused of botting. There's been a num- number of uh, uh, reports of you just going around. And I was like, because your fucking game is broken. I can't go forward. What else am I supposed to do? Yeah. And I got fucking really flippant with those assholes. Well, it's annoying, too. Uh, sometimes there's blatant bots, and then sometimes it's like, well... You need to think, what else are they going to do? Because that's the thing when RuneScape is like, there were lots of bots, and I probably encountered many of them at those mines, but at the same time, it's hard to tell because literally that's what someone would do for three days of a week, is go and just mine all this stuff, smelt it, and that would boost both of those levels, right? Mining and, and smelting. Uh and then, of course, after you get the iron you, or the, the ore or whatever, you could sell it or you could make it into something else, in which case that increases your blacksmithing. So, like, at the same time, it's just something you did was collect so much of it at one time. It was hard to tell, but I hated those mines. Because, like you said, you'd go there and there'd be four dudes standing around an ore or, like, you'd see a guy that's at, like, super high level in mining, higher than you, would come and just start mining yours and just take it before you could. Because it goes on. The time, yeah. The time. I forgot yeah. about that. No. That is fuck. That fucking pissed me off. So I'd start mining. A tink, 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 tink. Nothing's happening. This dude comes by and it's fucking full mithril Just and everything. Pink, pink, pink. Mines it, walks away. I'm like, bro, have Shut some, up. have some class, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I actually uh, talking about bots. Actually, reminded me of a weird incident. Mm-hmm. I, I'm eighty percent sure I came across a bunch of bots in battlegrounds. Did you? Which I'm not sure what the reason for a bot in Battlegrounds would be. That'd be hard. Yeah. But it is a survival game, so you never know. Well, it was in singles. <laughs> and there was... I don't know... No, it was, it was when I was doing uh, the me versus everybody. Mm-hmm. I was playing me, just me, during a four-person squad against everybody else with four uh, people in their squads. Mm-hmm. So I was being a little bit ballsy. And then there was this one guy during the like minute before Battlegrounds, you actually start up on the plane, mm-hmm. where he was shooting with one gun. There was a guy back behind him to his uh, right, mm-hmm. shooting at another thing. And then there was a guy behind him shooting at another thing. And when the first guy moved, the other two would go in consort, like right behind him, wherever like, he went. Like scripted. Yeah. And I was like, how the fuck would you even do that? Why would you even do that? Well... Like I'm about to discuss with the bot I recently had, uh, they just it just naturally happens. Like all they want is more time in the game. So like Overwatch, you know how the I encountered a bot recently. You know how the uh, leveling system works. Of course, <laughs> you can go from zero to a hundred, but after each ten increment, you get a new little emblem kind of thing around your your, your character model or your character portrait. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm at 80, so I'm very low, but, uh, like, take a look. That's, that's level 80. I've still put a lot of time in that game. It's still very rare to find people above that. It's still very, very rare. Damn. Yes. Now, that's crazy in my opinion, but you can see, you see people with the stars already, like, that's over 300. That's crazy. But I recently had a guy that was at, like, three stars, and he was at, like, 180. So he was silver, but he had stars, which means he has well over that. Uh, he was uh, he was a pot. <laughs> he, he was just standing there shooting at the roof. Because <laughs> um, they have to register that, that you're shooting, because if you're just standing still, you get kicked. So 
like all it is is even if you lose or win you get a uh, you get experience so he literally would just enter games lose or win and drop out and uh, unfortunately the quickest game mode you can play is 3v3 eliminations which is what i was playing so that's what he had played so you get fucked from the be- the beginning if you're if he's on your team he was not on my team which i felt bad about but uh, at the same time all you can do is report right so i report him <laughs> of course it's a lot of fucking wins god damn anyway <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, feedback, Jesus. Yeah, Ugh. Jesus. Because I bumped the cord. Or Jesus. Jesus for some. <laughs> uh, your turn. My yes. turn. Uh, speaking about Overwatch, uh, May 23rd is Overwatch's anniversary. One year anniversary. Hooray! <gasps> Still have some. One year. Huh? It's already been one year. Yeah. Seems longer. Seems longer. Definitely seems longer. But only one year. Yeah. So uh, they'll get a lot of cool stuff come out on the twenty third. I'm sure they'll they might release some more lore. They might have a they have, might have a cinematic. Oh. <laughs> Quit dying, I'm Jesus! Dying, Jesus! I'm not dying. Um, <laughs> no, you, there'll be lots of loot boxes, lots of legendary skins. Just tune in and have a good time, I guess. Never really announced much, but I think uh, a few things were leaked. Like uh, apparently, someone looked at the code and seen that each character had some stuff coming for it. Like, usually they have uh, emotes, or not emotes, uh, voice lines for every character when there's a new... Not expansion, but you know what I mean. Something new to the game. Uh, like, winter or Christmas. They always have a voice line yeah, for every I've character. Like so the, some guy basically went and broke down and found out how many of new things are coming for each character, and he kind of let it down, but that doesn't mean anything. But it... it, it it might point to some things, but uh, stay tuned, and if you're an Overwatch fan like me, join in and play. Have a good time on May 23rd. Speaking of Overwatch, mm-hmm. Diva from Overwatch is coming to Heroes of the Storm. Already in Heroes of the Storm. Huh? Already in Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm playing on the PTR, so... <laughs> oh, motherfucker, I hate you. I was just like, how the fuck did I fuck that up? Well, no, I mentioned that on last week's podcast. Deep is coming. Um, you don't remember that, do you? I do not. Let me flip back page one sec. Uh, I you believe know. you. You believe me. Diva is in Heroes of the Storm. Fuck you. Anyway, uh, she looks really cool. She works basically just like in Overwatch. Do you know how she works? You really need to play a game every now and then. Um, she has a giant mech. She's a former gamer who pilots a mech to protect her country. So, blah, 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 blah. She's fighting, fighting, fighting. When she gets low enough health, or not low enough health, when her mech reaches zero health, she pops out. That's like a little pilot. And she's literally this tiny little character. Like, she's little. And she just shoots little pistols. It's adorable. <laughs> she's like, and she's like, that's literally like the little sound it makes. And if you hit people enough, you can resummon your mech. It's like, mech activated. And she jumps back in really annoying because she gets that mech really fast <laughs> so she shoots you like six times she has a mech and it's like god damn it you squirrely little bitch <laughs> Jesus. Um, so she does the same thing in here's the storm which is kind of cool because it's a different genre it's a moba right so you're controlling this little top-down version of her but she jumps out too she gets different abilities when she's out it's pretty fucking cool and her alt in overwatch is not her alt in heroes of the storm her alt in overwatch is when she launches her suit and she says, Mecha, activate. And it, when it explodes, it kills basically anyone in the area. But there's a time where you can get away from it. Mm. Um, in over or in Heroes of the Storm, she can do that, but it's not her ultimate ability. She just, like, launches it out, and it just explodes. It does a lot of damage, but it's still a long period of time, right? Yeah. But it's kind of weird that that's not her ultimate ability. It's something similar. It's similar. You should play. I really should, but I really I, should, but no. My fucking gaming budget has already shot the shit. Here's the storm is free. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch is a one-time buy. You don't have to buy anything else. True, but my gaming budget is shot to shit. Fair enough. Now it is, right? Like with everything else I've bought. Airsoft. Oh, don't <laughs> Airsoft. fucking get me started on that shit. By the way, I don't think you actually finished talking about what happened with RuneScape. 
We started describing RuneScape. Wow, yeah. Uh, RuneScape. Uh, next gen was accidentally revealed during a stream. I don't know what's causing that. I want to say it might actually be uh, one of our phones. So if your ears are exploding, uh, blame Justin. Or squid face. Blame me somehow. I love it. I'll take it. You usually do. But uh, in the middle of a stream, it just uh, popped up as at the end of the slideshow. And then it was quickly taken off. And it wasn't leaked. It was officially leaked, per se. But the creators of RuneScape are keeping their mouth shut. Yeah. So, next gen, I'm not sure what that exactly entails. Maybe something like World of Warcraft? I'd like to see them do something more high definition with it, I guess. Because I went and looked at it recently just to see what RuneScape looks like now. Same old shit. It looks the same? Basically. They've wow. done some visual upgrades, but it's still, like, you know, like, clunky, I guess. And I'm like, well, the fact that this competes with World of Warcraft and shit, I'm like, wow. How? Well, RuneScape is free, right? RuneScape is free. That's why. Uh, well, of course, there's premiums and stuff yeah. you can buy, but yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like, if World of Warcraft went free, people would lose their shit. They, they'd get such a surge of new gamers slash new gamers or slash uh, old gamers that want to come back. Mm. But the reason they don't is because every expansion, right? you got to pay money for that. But if they made month-to-month free, I don't know. I don't think that would be the worst idea. Maybe they'll do that in a big anniversary. Maybe, but they'd lose a shit ton of income. They would. Because it's like, 50, or like 13, 14 bucks a month, mm-hmm. and there's still like... I don't even want to try seven and think million? how many players, yeah. A lot. So there's 7 million players times 15 bucks or 14 bucks a month. Go! That's too much. No, thanks. You're a whore. Yeah, so it's a lot of money. That's all revenue coming in. And they know these people are going to pay for it. That's why they don't make it free. But I understand the business model. It pretty much funds all of Blizzard and Activision now. So. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of games like that, another good game is called The Witcher. Witcher 3. Love that game. And it came out with a card game similar to Hearthstone called Gwent. Mm-hmm. Have you played it? No, but I did look into it. I really want it. I really liked it. Like, for a good week, week and a half, mm-hmm. that's all I did in that fucking game. Yeah. I seen a commercial for it when it was first advertised on YouTube. It, it started playing on, like, I watched a lot of Hearthstone videos. It started playing on one of those, obviously. Uh, the live but, action uh, trailer is fucking amazing. I don't know if I've seen that. What happens? Pretty much, you're walking down the street as uh, Geralt, mm-hmm. and the guy has a sword, he has the armor on, and he goes into this warehouse where there's other people dressed up as the main characters, and then they start to play Gwent. It's actually really cool. Never seen that. It's Is that like the Yu-Gi-Oh one? <laughs> Have you seen that oh, Yu-Gi-Oh one? No, this one is actually... There's actually money put into this one because it actually the costumes and shit are accurate. Yeah. Like surprisingly slow or so, surprisingly slow. No, surprisingly so. Well, it's like uh, Witcher's getting a Netflix series too, right? Oh yeah. I know you want to talk about that, so go ahead. This is, is, is Gwent. Uh, before we go on, is Gwent free to play? Do you know? I think so. It's out in beta right now, mm-hmm. but I haven't Almost, really checked into it. And you were asking earlier. How they'll probably make money, and I suggested probably just packs, right? That that would be my assumption. I would actually prefer physical cards. Mm-hmm. Of course. I think it's only going to be Hearthstone like uh, electronic cards. Yeah, probably. It costs way too much to do cards, and the theft value is way too high. You have to be huge like Magic the Gathering, yeah. Pokemon. But uh, yes, Witcher is getting a TV series mm-hmm. on Netflix. I am probably going to be disappointed with it. Because as far as I can tell, it's not going to be based on the games. It's actually going to be based on the source material, the Mm -hmm. books. Where even the creator, the writer of novels, they uh, they didn't want anything to do with the game. They say it's not canon. Mm Mm-hmm. So to have all the epicness from The Witcher 3, or 1 through 3... Be completely negated and only based on the source material, which 
I assume most gamers know nothing about. Mm-hmm. I'm not too happy about that. It'll probably disappoint a few people. I'll still watch the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. But it, I think it's going to have the same effect as... Uh, well, the reverse effect from the Dresden Files. Because they had... Or they have... Uh, 16 books of pure epicness. Yeah. And then it has like a 10 episode TV series that sucked ass that has nothing to do with it. Annoying. <laughs> Believe me. I know. Well, that's like saying uh, Marvel fans. Marvel fans that like read the comic books, read fanfic and all that stuff. Like the dedicated Marvel fan base probably aren't too happy with most of the movies slash TV or Netflix series, right? Yeah. Just because of the like, oh, well, they they didn't go with this storyline, but I could see them kind of tying in this storyline. It's like, okay, well, you got to realize you're reading multiple storylines of different things, right? The one thing I hate about comic books. Yeah. Too many fucking universes. I just want an A to B, not A to 1 to 6 to B to 3. <laughs> B, C, B, 1. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It is crazy how many storylines there are, and I understand all of them can be interesting in some way, shape, or form. Like the one where Thanos is a farmer. Uh, sounds pretty interesting. And the one where he helps the Avengers sounds pretty interesting. But I'd rather him be just a bad guy. And I guess he goes back and forth on being good and bad. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not a Marvel fan. Sorry for those who are. Horror! And just so you know, anything you say about movie and TV, expect Jonathan to correct you in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> be like, Actually, it's going to be called... The Witcher? No. <laughs> well, technically, Good old it actually already came out with a TV series mm-hmm. that sucked ass. Okay. Uh, Game of Thrones? No. no. <laughs> Fuck you. Don't say that too loud. People will kill you. Yes, they would. I gotta catch up on that. I still haven't caught up on Game of Thrones. Don't hate me. Hey, man, what's up? Don't scowl at me. I hate you. All right, other news. Go. New Hearthstone features are coming to Hearthstone. Uh, they will finally implement deck importing, which is awesome. What's uh, importing? Deck importing. Um, yes, it sounds very similar to the word dick. Uh, deck importing, where you can actually uh, save and export your decks as a, like a file, and then it'll import decks as well, which is actually pretty cool because sometimes you just want to you just want a net deck. You're just like, I've lost seven in a row. I want to use Firebat's deck that he wins every game with. Boom, boom, done. Now, in my opinion, I don't like that. Uh, I like the old look it up, type it in. But, I mean, this just makes it easier for people to do it, I guess. Um, and, of course, you still have to have the exact same cards, right? So, it's not the worst thing. It still gets people to put money into the game. So, that all funds new stuff from Hearthstone. Uh Friendly challenges you can do with quests, or you can do quests with friendly challenges. Uh, so some quests in the game to get more gold and packs and everything, you play like certain types of minions, or you play certain amount of spells with different classes, stuff like that. Uh, you can now do those with friendly challenges to friends, which is kind of cool because you could never do that before, but only certain quests. So, interesting. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> They're like, oh, all these new huge updates are coming. And then they just said those two. And I'm like, those suck. <laughs> Give me something else to work with here. Uh, Let me buy old card backs because the old card backs were nice. And if you missed them in the first like couple weeks, you screwed because you can never get them again. Very annoying. Uh, Wildlands, new DLC is coming out. What's that called? Uh, Fallen Ghosts. Fallen Ghosts. Uh, I think... Did you play Narco Road? No. No? I was going to, but then I got sidetracked once again with my gaming budget. It happens. Shit happens. It got so bad that literally... Uh, one I just of... started eating my shoes. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> I'll, get, I'll get in... Or I'll talk about Wildlands and I'll talk about CJPD. Okay. So, Wildlands, Fallen Goes, no, you're pretty much in a new area... Uh, you get 15 new missions, four bosses you gotta kill, uh, three new areas. I'm not sure if that's new provinces or new actual load-in areas. They weren't, they were not specific. Uh, six new guns, and the level cap is up to 35. Uh, it comes out 
for 15 bucks on June 6th. As far as I can tell, it's about pretty much you're going into a new area. You're shot down. Got to get out. Hmm. So, entertaining. Entertaining, to say the least. Yeah, Should be good. I'm not going to buy it. I'll just point that out now. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to buy it? I will buy all the DLC when it's all out. Yeah. Cause well, I, isn't there a season pass you could buy? No, no, no. No, like... Uh, at the end of like the last DLC when it's done, mm-hmm. I'll buy all of them and then play them all. Because I fucking hate episodic games. Mm-hmm. Like the Telltale games, I will never play. Because Well, I'll probably play Walking Dead like epi- or uh, Series 1 or whatever it's called. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, Episode 1 to 5 is done and completed. Okay. That's series, all I do. Yeah. I just fucking hate waiting and waiting and waiting for shit. Yeah, well, those DLCs come out, they don't really usually tie together, though. Usually. I don't know if these ones do. It wasn't like uh, Halo 5 where they had that. Was it Halo 5? Uh, one of the recent Halo games had that where they had, uh, s- like, Spartan Ops missions. That sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, where they would come out, like, once every week. And I had a friend who was really big into it with him and his group of friends who would constantly be ba- be home on, like, a Thursday or something like that to play with his friends on the, on the big TV. Uh, and they would play the new mission because it told backstory of the game. It's, it, it was a lot. It was too much. <laughs> but yeah, getting back to my gaming budget. Uh, my gaming budget per month is up to 100 bucks now. Nice. Uh, I hit my budget and went a little bit over. And to get into CJPD, like I was a FNG to actually get a higher rank. You to actually explain be- what those are to people? You want to explain what those acronyms are to people? Not really. <laughs> to be quite honest. <sighs> Captain Jack's Pony Brigade. Not pony like My Little Pony. Pony as in P-W-N-Y. Mm-hmm. It's just what he wants you to think. Fuck you. I hate you. They all have tails. <laughs> Fuck, I believe it if J-Rec does. Or Jesus. He is a very unique individual. Yeah. You will see in uh, some of the recordings I'll be releasing. But Jesus, he is... uh, Interesting, to say the least. Unique. (laughs) Nice. That's how you get through life. (laughs) But he is a nice motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He lives in the States, and uh, uh, he heard about the... Like, I had to get into CJPD... Uh, I had to get Arma 3 and play a Zeus mission, mm-hmm. which Arma 3 in Canada is 53 bucks still. So kind of a piss. Or I didn't, I wasn't, I was going to delay it for a bit until I had the money to actually buy it. Mm-hmm. But uh, Jesus, uh, Jesusaurus Rex wrecked <laughs> or something like that. That's his name. Yeah. Well, it's on TeamSpeak, whatever. Yeah. He was nice enough to actually fork over 32 bucks American for Arma 3 and gift it to me. Nice. So I was very, very happy with that. And he is a very nice individual. Despite what I t- uh, say about him, he is a uh, fucking weird. But he's awesome. <laughs> Captain Jack's Pony Brigade. Fuck you, dick bag. Ponies. <laughs> But yes, do you want me to get in on those stories? By all means. <laughs> well, do you have any other news that we can cover? Uh, I have a bit, but you can uh, you can go. We were talking about Arma 3, so might as well. So, CJPD, they had this scenario where I had to go into the city of Kor and uh, take out a specific individual. Kor was heavily defended. I was not allowed. To, I was allowed a few cast runs and a couple artillery strikes, uh-huh. which cast is big ass plane that goes burp 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 burp. Yeah, eight tens. Anyway, uh, to get into the town and actually clear out enough that I wasn't getting sniped like constantly, took an hour and a half. Uh, got to the guy, looted his corpse. Then I had to go to another compound and kill another person. Uh-huh. After took another like hour to do that, and through all of this, I'm feeling bad because I assume 
that J wrecked and Jesus, they were the people running Zeus, like over what or looking over me, yeah, yeah, and yeah, giving me cast runs and shit. In the game, if you're Zeus, you're basically like the god, right? <laughs> yeah, you can look down, see what they're doing, give them orders and stuff like that. It's meant to be squad based, but you were just by yourself, right? Mm. Yeah, it was. Pain it was ass. like an initiation, literally him getting fucked in the ass, pretty much. Like broom handle, like, yeah. <laughs> Well, there was this one part where I finally got onto one of the main roads of uh, Core, and I was to the south, and I was crawling behind this rock wall, like, slowly, so I wouldn't be spotted by the, all the, like, I don't know, like, ten people on the main road. Mm-hmm. Then I hear Jesus say, hey, uh, D.Y., just uh, get over here for a second. And I couldn't hear D.Y. because we had this uh, transmitter, or, like, a mod that is radio mod, pretty mm-hmm. much. So, uh... Jesus is like, no, no, drop what you're doing. Just get over here. You have to see this. So I wasn't really paying attention to them. I was just concentrating on the game. So I'm crawling and crawling and crawling. And then I look over the thing, and there's a machine gunner right there in the grass. And he has a mounted machine gun. I nearly shit myself. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Then I fucking hear those two assholes laughing their asses off at me. Cackling up a storm. Yeah. Yeah, Little hyenas. That's awesome. Yeah. And then uh, it got to the point where I was getting taxied to uh, the new compound because mm-hmm. walking in that game takes forever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I know. But uh, we had to reload because of an issue. There was a couple technical issues, but uh, we had to reload, so it respawned all the people. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That was not fun. <laughs> I took out this Viper Squad sniper team or whatever, and when it was respawned, it took a cab down there, and uh, they were st- they were respawned. So Dy ran them over. <laughs> <laughs> and all you hear is this big dunk. <laughs> the go under the fucking wheel. Well, what was that? <laughs> nothing. So it was a uh, very entertaining. Needless to say. After I cleared the second compound, which I said took like an hour, I had to make my way to a stadium for an extraction. Mm -hmm. So I was saying, okay, I have a few casts and a few artillery things. I know there's going to be fuckers there. You're already under fire a little bit. How about you... And I just marked like six fucking artillery zones and cast runs to go back and forth. Just clear out that fucking village off to the left while I get in this fucking chopper. Mm -hmm. I can't fly a chopper. (laughs) Is that your first time flying a chopper in the game? Oh, yeah. So not good. Not good. I, uh, I didn't crash. That's good. But I was going like this when they booted me out of the pilot seat. They righted it. And I can't hear shit because I didn't have earplugs in. Yeah. So I uh, couldn't hear shit. And we flew to this lighthouse. So after all that, <sighs> guess what DY says? He failed. <laughs> what? Nobody can know of this mission. Bang, bang! And shoots me. Remember, no Russian. <laughs> Pretty much. I was fucking pissed. And I was this like, sends a message. <laughs> uh, it was uh, entertaining. It took like three and a half hours, but it was fucking worth it. That's awesome. It w- the first part was the hardest because it was just pretty much, okay, well, there's roaming patrols that respawn. Mm-hmm. That are around, so I make my way down the fucking hill, and then I get sniped from behind. And I was like, oh, and it was at night. Did you have night vision? I had night vision. No, that's not bad, though. But night vision is only good after so far. Yeah. Uh, helmets and shit, they blend into the grass, so I can't see shit. I had to wait to get shot at to figure out where the hell they were. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but you are now officially part of the crew? I'm a brigadier. Look at you go. Kane, uh, he is, like, I've told you about Kane, right? Yeah, I've met Kane, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> he wants you back, by the way. I know, he loves me. I fucking hate you. He uh, wants he's my up... penis inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> go on. He is up for the, the, the initiation next. He should always just be a private. That's all he should ever be. <laughs> well... Uh, like, I, even bef- like they should just make the mission abnormally hard just to fuck with him and then just make him fail somehow and then be like well you can try again next week and he's like oh <laughs> and then he tries again next week and they do well, the exact same I thing. tried to 
Like, first Kane didn't want to do it because he wasn't a big fan of the mods that uh, were associated with it, that were needed for the thing. Yeah. So he was like, eh, I won't do it. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, well, you should make it mandatory. And instead of call, uh, when he passes it, instead of uh, giving him the rank of Brigadier, giving, give him his own special rank of Brigadier Dick. <laughs> Brigadier, parentheses, Dick. Close yep. parentheses. That's Something awesome. Like that. Jesus. And uh, anything you want to talk about? Well, you said you were stealing me. You stole a tank. Oh. <laughs> you stole a tank? So, we were assaulting uh, with uh, the Arma 3. I was also I also bought Tanoa. Yeah. Which is like the jungle thing. Bunch of islands, jungle, whatever. Mm-hmm. On one of the uh, northwestern islands, there is a uh, airfield. Our mission was to go from the main island, the southern part of the main island, take a boat to a, a village that is covered in trees, and take all resistance in this one airport. <sighs> Took three hours with four of us. Yeah. That was hell. That was the epitome of hell. Because DUI is a prick! And he put... He said there was tanks patrolling... Like along the island, like there's T fifty fives and T seventy twos, like heavy duty fucking tanks. Yeah, yeah. And then there's GMGs and a bunch of other like mountain machine gun tanks, APCs and shit. So there, we were told there was heavy resistance and armored support. Well, for some fucking reason, they kept respawning. So after like a half an hour, we'd have a tank shove up our ass mm-hmm. out of nowhere was not fun but this one time uh dy was in an artillery vehicle and he was giving us artillery support yeah well a t-72 took issue with that and or two t-72s came uh uh, uh had an issue with him and went after him so he's getting chased all over i uh he was uh going around on the coast i was still up in the mountains and then i came down and then i saw this one tank that was trying to go up this hill, but it was like stalled or something. Mm-hmm. So I asked DY, are you able to provide artillery support? He said yes. So he stopped while being under attack by a fucking T-72 yep. and quickly fired off, I think, five rounds at the stationary T-55 or T-72, whatever. So they didn't hit. None of them were direct. I fired a couple missiles at him. It just scared the shit out of the tank crew that was in it. So, three people jumped out of the tank. I shot them. So, then I was just like, so what happens if uh, there's an empty tank? And he says, well, I don't know. Just uh, bl- uh, <laughs> get in it and find out. Well, I got into it. That uh, yeah. The reason why the people jumped out was because the engine was fucked and the left track was fucked. So, the guns were, were good. It was just, it was stationary pretty much. So D.Y. took a hit on the utility truck from somewhere, he didn't know where, and started running on foot towards me with a toolkit. Because he could repair shit. So then I'm just in the gun, fucking around. I hop out, and I see D.Y. looking off in the distance. And I'm not hearing any radio traffic, so I look at him through my sniper scope, and I see he's looking off to the right. And then I look to the right. And then the, another T-72 is coming up over the fucking hill. And I'm just like, ah! we both start screaming. He gets on the, like the ground or whatever. The heavy machine gun on the tank starts firing at me. I get back in the tank. And as the fucking tank is coming up, I'm taking pot shots at it with the main gun. And it's literally, the tank comes down. Uh, I missed uh, one shot out of the two that I fired at him. It comes so fucking close to me, and then it fucks off. And then I see, like, it parks behind me as my gun's trying to go over. Mm -hmm. And then it starts looking at me with its main cannon. I pop it again, and then it starts on fire. (laughs) Pretty close. Yeah, I almost got my ass handed me. And I was just, as soon as that, I was like, Yeah! This is going to be so fun to edit! (laughs) Well, as long as you have fun. (laughs) So my one gripe with tanks in that game is that they have no cursor to where you're aiming. Yeah. 
More realistic. Yeah, the, yeah, it's more realistic, but it still fucking sucks. Oh yeah. Uh. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, it was fun. We assaulted the airfield with the tank. Mm-hmm. We took out two set the uh, two T seventy twos and the GMG before we took a few hits, and then we had the bail. Yeah, it was still fun. Definitely. Tanks uh, make anything more fun. Uh, I think we can talk about uh, move on. Ubisoft's next couple games, they had to finally announce them for next year. Uh, it's like their way of claiming rights and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So we can expect Far Cry 5. We can expect The Crew 2, a uh, new South Park game, and of course, a new Assassin's Creed. Because that's what we Yay! screwed it. Yeah. yeah, that's it, like seven t- Assassin's Creed 17 now or something like that. Probably. Did you ever play any Assassin's Creed? I played one and two. Okay. I was not a very big fan of them. Yeah. I completed them like through the main storyline, but it was still shit. I played all the way up to Black Flag. I never beat Black Flag, but I beat all the other ones. I 100%ed uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and the uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. But uh, that was basically As it. soon as they introduced the aliens, I was out. Yeah. Yeah, the lost civilization. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Have you ever played? Uh, you're are you a big racing fan? You ever played the crew? I'm not, uh, racing. Not really my thing. I'm more of a first person shooter. I got it for free. It's not bad. Uh, not really my type of thing. I'm not a racing fan either. Uh, South Park was amazing. That's probably really the only super exciting one on the list. Uh, and then Far Cry Five. Some of the Far Cries are good. I enjoyed most of them. I like three. I never played four. Three was good. Uh, I the remember. Ending sucked. Yeah, I remember the original Far Cry. I love that game. I didn't play that one. I played Far Cry 2. Yeah. I just fucking hated the mechanic of the malaria. Have you heard about that? I don't remember that. I don't think I played Far Cry 2. Far Cry 2, right off the bat, you're infected with malaria. Mm -hmm. And you have to find pills or else you die. So if you save in the wrong area and you don't find the pill, your game is fucked. That sucks. Yeah. And then... uh, uh, gun jamming mm-hmm. and exploding on you. Oof, annoying. Mm. The original Far Cry, I believe it's called, I want to say Primal Instincts or something like that. That's when you have, like, you get injected with something and you basically become, like, an animal. Basically. You don't actually anamorph into a fucking animal. But, <laughs> but it's really cool that you can, like, use special abilities and you, like, hunt people down. I'm, I'm kind of pissed that they got away from that. It made it just a gun shooting game on a large open field. I kind of like the linear Far Cry, in my opinion, but that's just me. You ever played Blood Dragon? Yeah, me either. <laughs> I, I own it, but I have never played it. Uh, actually, I think I played it for like five, ten minutes. Boring. Anyway, uh, I think probably the biggest one on the list that people will be excited for is South Park. Need you play the first one? No? Uh, 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 fucking too tired for this. You don't like South Park, right? <sighs> The last episode and only episode of South Park I've ever seen mm-hmm. was the World of Warcraft one. Which is hilarious. <laughs> Hold! Click over him with your right uh, mouse cursor! Run! Right click! Ah! I just love... <laughs> Hit him now, Clyde! Clyde! We've lost Clyde! <laughs> he like, shows him like reading a porn magazine in his basement. <laughs> We've lost Clyde! <laughs> Carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel. Have you seen the cosplay of that? No, but I can assume it's pretty fucking funny. Well, there is a like you know the gamer that mm-hmm. has no life, or whatever in that game. Someone actually cosplays that. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah. that is epic, man. With like the desk. And yeah. Crushed. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. That's pretty funny. I th- I thought you meant as their characters. Mm. That'd be pretty funny because uh, I don't doubt someone's done that. Oh yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> oh man, I just. I got, I got nothing more for that episode. That episode was great. Fucking gold. This is like you never seen uh, Imagination Land? That was pretty good, too. Uh, I don't watch South Park anymore. It's just too much now. But I played the the last game. Very funny. Very borderline race. <laughs> like, everything that you can imagine about a South Park episode is in that game. Like, to the point where you gave him, give a man an abortion. <laughs> 
Randy? Yeah, it's stupid. Okay, then. You need, you need to play it. It's actually funny, because... How about no? Did you hear what happened? Uh, the censorship in some places? Now, this is an old story now, but if you haven't heard about it, please enjoy. Uh, in some places, they banned certain parts of the game from being played. Like scenes. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a probing scene. There's, like, see- yeah. Like, there's an abortion scene. Like I said, there's all these different scenes. And if it was banned in your country, basically, South, the creators of the game put in like a screen that would show up based on where it was banned so in australia it has like a picture of a kangaroo like a crying kangaroo and it says sorry australians but your fucking government sucks and doesn't want you to see the scene where and it describes the scene in detail and it's yeah, like it's so funny hey whatever works it's got like the australian flag and it's got like a crying kangaroo and like there's one for the eu with like uh I want to say the statue of David, like, giving him the face palm or something like that. <laughs> and it's just like, sorry, but the EU doesn't want you to see. And it's like, it's actually pretty funny if you watch those. But, like, the actual unedited version of the game was pretty fucking good. I, I must say, because there's a part where you go into Canada. yeah, And you know how Canada in South Park is all blockhead people and, like, the cars have square wheels. <laughs> you go in there and they're like, <laughs> the joke in South Park is there's one road through Canada, which there is right queen elizabeth two and it goes all the way through canada and they're like it's the one road through canada and it's the golden road <laughs> it's like it's like a play on uh fucking wizard of oz right yeah Road. yeah so you he ba- they ba- you basically go into like uh fucking montreal and then you go to like the prince of alberta and it's like what <laughs> and you like have to convince it's so fucking stupid it's like none of this is true what is going on <laughs> And it's so fucking funny. Well, Americans are fucking idiots. They'll believe like, anything. Well, it's funny because they, they harp on a lot of the stereotypes. So, like, you can walk into random houses, but as soon as you enter Canada, everything turns two-dimensional and flat. You're like, come on. So you're, like, walking around, like, do 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 And you, like, walk into a house, and there's two people fucking. Yeah. And they're like, ah, why would you walk in here? And it's like, well, your door's unlocked. I'm so sorry. And you leave, and you're like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> the whole stereotype is we don't lock our doors, right? And then, like, literally, you can just, like, walk around the whole map of Canada, and you're like, why do they hate us so much? <laughs> I don't understand. We are lovely people. Most of us. <laughs> it does shake your head. <laughs> uh, that That's pretty exciting. I'm excited for the new South Park game. I, I liked it. When, when they I can intru- tell you're excited. Well, when they introduced fucking <laughs> Nazi zombies, it was pretty funny. Yeah, you have to fight Nazi zombies. You can use, like, you can use, like, <laughs> you can become a Jew cleric. <laughs> you use the Sling of David. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, my God. If it ever comes cheap enough, you should just buy it just for hilarity value and play it. Anyway, uh, so there will be a new South Park, of course. I think it was already announced, but uh, there will be a new one, of course. Exclusive right here. Exclusively announced right here. Uh Another thing I like to talk about gaming news, new League of Legends features, which will please some people as opposed to the Hearthstone ones, which were kind of lackluster. Uh, you can finally mute pings, so you've never played League. You can do pings like, oh, enemy is missing, or I'm coming this way, or defend this tower, stuff like that. But it's really annoying when your teammate gets uppity or really pissed and starts pinging constantly. Now, after you ping five or six times, it'll say you've allocated your number of pings for a minute you are blo- you can't ping for a minute or so but then after a minute ping 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 again and then it does it again now you can finally mute people's pings and it was specific so- people or all- overall uh specific people uh-huh. if it's anything like the mute system because there's no overall voice chat and there's a reason for that the league of legends community is very abusive um but you can mute people in chat i turn off all chat immediately as soon as i start the game no point to it at all League of Legends, you should basically only play with your team. If you are playing solos, then you have to communicate with your team. But people are so abusive, it's just it's just so Dicks. toxic. Yeah, it's so toxic. Now, you can finally mute their pings, which is kind of good because it would annoy the fuck out of me. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, you can now surrender at 15 in all non-random game modes. I don't know what that means. Um, so... In the game, if you're losing by 20 minutes, like really bad, and you and your team agree that you're not going to win, you can surrender. So you hit slash FF. You might have seen that online, slash FF. Okay. It's like the give up. It's like uh, Alt F4, right? So slash FF, 
you type in the surrender key. So you type you type slash f, slash ff and it'll pop up surrender and then everyone can hit accept or type slash ff to agree. And then basically if it's unanimous, uh, like everyone on your team says yes, mm -hmm. it'll surrender at 20. But now they've put it, well, you have to just have a unanimous vote. So if it's four against one or three against two, because there's five people, uh, you will surrender. That's how it works. Now, in this, you have to have a unanimous vote. So, in other words, you have to have all five of you say yes to the to the vote, which will be, be very rare, because there's always one person who's doing decent, who's yeah. like, well, I just want to at least play the game. Like, I've played, you know, 15 minutes of this game already. Why not? Why, why would you want to surrender? At least keep trying. But sometimes the mid lane feeds seven kills to the enemy team. That's not the best. <laughs> Sometimes he just continues to feed seven kills after that to the enemy team. Okay. Maybe we should surrender slash FF. <laughs> it happens. But uh, it's very, very cool because everyone has said that they should lower the time from 20 minutes. Because you got to think that's still 20 minutes of a game you're not getting back. But it's just people give up too soon, I guess. Mm. You know, oh, we lost the first we, we lost the first kill. We lose. No, that's not how that works in any way, shape, or form. Um, but people get really uppity, right? You so, don't know, man. You don't know. You should play its free game. Anyway, uh, I, I'm excited for those to come into effect. Uh, anyway, any more news from you? Uh, I don't know. And I can't play any fucking new games. I've already, in the last month, I've bought, like... It's free. I know, but I don't have any time Freedom. to allocate to them. Freedom. Uh... Yeah, League of Legends requires a lot of time to play. A lot of time. You were going to talk about your Skyrim mod. Not my mod. I don't <laughs> want to be associated yeah, yeah. in any fucking way with this fucking mod. Not your mod, but... Uh... So there's a modder who I will refuse to name him. <laughs> Not because uh, I, I, don't, I dislike the mod, purely because I forgot to write down his name. <laughs> or the mod name. I was but, say the uh, mod name sounds like fun. There's this sick bastard that is campaigning to make his mod more noticeable mm -hmm. on uh, media sites. This mod makes children killable. Makes them more realistic. Mm -hmm. Kind of creepy when you kill them. Thoughts? Eh. <laughs> you gotta think. It's, it's a Skyrim mod, right? Yeah. So if you want to be realistic, you can kill children. In the real world, yes. But it is against the law, just like killing anybody. Now, you can kill people in GTA and escape the cops. You should also be able to kill children. Now, I understand the ramifications of that. People people really Would hate that. Would you like me to buy you a shovel? No. <laughs> dig I'll, your I'll, I'll dig my grave with my hands. <laughs> um, I just feel like... You don't have to add every element of realism for it to be realistic, so you don't have to add kids dying. But I understand that it's in that if someone adds it into the game, it's something added into the game. Should he get any flack from this? No. He's a modder. He had the time. He made it. Whatever. If people download it, that's because they want to do it. It doesn't mean they're a sociopath that wants to happen. They just want to see what it's like. Um, 4,000 people downloaded this mod. Yeah. See? And it's it's not like they want they didn't download it just to see children die. You don't know. You don't know, <laughs> but at the same time, <laughs> have you ever you've played Skyrim? Yeah. Have you slashed your sword at a child? No, I have. Because <laughs> the really annoying one that's just like, my mother does this, and like, I'm the queen, and it's like, shut up, and you like. See, with, happens, me, right? with me in Skyrim, even when I try to go bad or mm -hmm. try, like, sword and shield, I always end up being a good archer. <laughs> I try, and that's all... Uh. Archer. <laughs> I used... I actually did the first... For the first time, while playing my new Skyrim, I, I went with dual-handed instead of one-handed. Like, I... Or two-handed. I usually go two-handed weapons in basically any follow... Or follow... Any Bethesda game I play... Um, even in Fallout. <laughs> um, but in this one, I actually went dual-handed and sometimes with a shield. Shield blocking sucks in that game. Basically, anyone stronger than you will destroy you. You're like, shield block, ah, and it's like, pff, half your life. And you're like, well, I blocked it, though. I understand it hurts, but I'm like, what the fuck's the point of the shield? 
and when you put up your huge shield to stop the dragon fire, I think it should stop dragon fire. It doesn't. It goes through. I'm like, well, this is bullshit. <laughs> I want to be like King Motherfucking Arthur, you know. Fire like, resistance. It doesn't fucking help that. Enchanting. Them. Yeah, then you have to carry your fire. And what if it's a frost dragon? Big poopy, big poopy hole in your plan, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck off. I've already thought that through. I'm like, I'm not carrying all this. Run. <laughs> I'm not carrying all these fire-resistant potions and frost-resistant potions. I'm just going to get super strong and destroy the dragon. So I basically sit there with my two restoration spells in my hand. The dragon hits me. I just go, <laughs> heal myself. And then it comes down. And I'm like, shuk, 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 dead. Right? Did I ever show you, speaking of Skyrim, did I ever show you that one video that Rooster Teeth did? Uh, the 14 easy steps to becoming a god? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I rewatched that, man. I really want to try that out. My favorite one is the uh, cabbage in the bucket one. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, yeah. Trick shot. Trick shot, yeah, yeah. That's, and pissing off the preacher. Those are funny. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos on YouTube, shout out to Rooster Teeth. Go watch them. They're really fucking hilarious. Especially pissing off the preacher. Replace his congregation with vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> throw, his ve- uh, throw his congregation at him. Yeah, throw his congregation at him. Now, uh, I've never seen a more intense... Uh, things to do well with trick shot like they have the face cam or whatever and they're just like every miss they're like <sighs> and yeah just, like they like, flat out see it and they're like get all silent when it's going down and so they miss and they're like oh. and then when it actually happens they're like all like slack jawed and like yeah, oh, yeah and they, they start they jumping their up shit, and down yeah oh yeah everyone's wondering what the fuck's going on yeah it's pretty good definitely go watch it if you haven't seen it what i like is uh the office that they made it they had the Achievement Hunter room, and then right beside it, they had Gus's, like, office. Mm-hmm. And in the video, you see Gus, Gus like, poke his head, like, what the fuck are they doing? Into the into the camera. Yeah, like, and I just yeah. like how they were so loud that it got Gus, the laziest motherfucker at that company. He does work, but he is, if it doesn't directly relate to him, he won't lift a fucking finger. Yeah, why would you? It's not exactly. His, as he says, it's not his job. They hire people to do those jobs. But for him to get up out of his desk and to go see, that's how fucking loud and obnoxious fucking... Uh... Well, he, well, he's an entertainer too, right? He's yeah. a funny guy. I like Gus. Black Korean. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <sighs> all right. Mm. Anything else? That's basically all I got. I got to figure that out. I think it's one of the cords. Probably just needs to re- be re-plugged in. You're plugged in. Nice. We're getting some feedback issues. But regardless, I'll figure it out. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Wrap it up. What are we at? We are at one hour and... Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. That's not bad. Not that good. Not that good. But to be fair, it is our last one, so I didn't write down a lot. It is my last one, I should say. I will reiterate, this is my last podcast, and I won't be in any future videos. Well, I... As far as I'm aware. Oh, maybe the... Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds I will eventually yeah. get around to editing that. Are you okay if I release that? Of course. You can release anything I have. Okay. Even the thing on Pornhub? <laughs> Even that video of y- your mom? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, I figured I'd get a your mama joke in there before my last podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's it for Squid Face. Squid Face is gone. I would like to reiterate that there will... Even though Squidface is leaving us and going to go live on a farm, he will be back every once in a while to either call me an idiot or try and make your mom joke like he just did. Yeah. Try. I succeeded. That was like a 10 out of 10. Would listen to it again. Fuck you. But uh, since Squidface is going to be leaving, there will be a few hiccups in the next couple weeks as... I'm going to be the one running all the equipment now. Mm-hmm. There will be a few fuck-ups. I will wholeheartedly say, yes, I'm not perfect. Something wrong will happen. We'll, we'll keep counters of how many times you have to ask me for information and stuff. Because <laughs> we've seen how many times you failed doing the intro today. <laughs> fuck you. I hate you so much. All right. You want to give them a fake intro right now? I, w- I want you to try to do the intro. No. No, 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 no. Come on. Do it like I did. You remember how I did it? Try. I don't. Go away. No. Okay. So Do you have any last words he, before he you're taken out good. back and shot? I want to see I want to see how many times he fails next time I'm going to ask him. 
Anyway, uh, I have nothing more to say. I had a lot of fun doing the podcast and everything, but of course, it uh, takes a lot of time to do, unfortunately, everything. Uh, updating the site and everything. So, unfortunately, with the job, moving, uh, new place, and on top of going to school, just not enough time for it anymore. So It's understandable. Yeah. But uh, I would love to be a guest on occasionally in the future. Uh, I know we got a few mo- a few new listeners, so shout out to Thomas. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hope you keep listening. Hope you listen to episode 15. That's where we first mentioned you. Huzzah. <laughs> uh, but this is my last one, so I'm sorry, Thomas. Because <laughs> he loves me. Uh, I always knew that you went that way. <laughs> All right. All right. See you next week. See you next week where we'll have more gaming news. Well, Boulder will have more gaming news. Uh, more awesome, sweet stories to enlighten you with. And, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> and more your mom jokes, I'm sure. That Absolutely. you can find someone to rip on. Yeah. No, you can't say that to Nikki. I actually like her mom. Exactly. So you can't say it to Nikki. Nah. All right. All right. See you next week, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.